And let's turn to our pinpoint weather team. We have meteorologist Andrew Brightman here who's tracking uh, yeah. the showers that we're seeing from now Tropical Depression Nicole on this Veterans Day. Uh, hopefully not dampening um, all the festivities that are going on all across the Carolinas today. Yeah, again. Not dampening my birthday, of course. That of also course, yes, and happy birthday to Andrew Brightman. But yeah, but for all, but again, celebrating all those that have served our country. Again, you can't let the rain get you down on a day like today. But we are seeing a lot of it across the Carolinas right now. Four box of our various cameras. We actually just have a little bit of localized shower activity roll through Uptown. They've been dealing with a moderate and heavy rain all day long in Boone, Independence Boulevard. It's fine right now, but. There might be some white knuckle moments on the road here coming up in about the next hour and a half or so. We'll get into that in a moment. Also want to talk about once we get through the remnants of Nicole, we got big changes on the way in terms of our temperatures. They are going to be taking a massive nose dive. It has been warm, muggy, soupy this morning. Thanks to Nicole driving in all this moisture across the Carolinas. But check it out once we get to Sunday and heading into early next week, Tuesday. I think we're going to struggle just to get out of the 40s. Now, right in the here and now, we got to talk about flash flood warnings though, up in those higher elevations, Avery, Burke, as well as Caldwell counties until 4 o'clock this afternoon. We do have those flash flood warnings in effect. You just want to seek higher ground if you are under one of those flash flood warnings. Current sat rad watching the heavy rain. We'll start up in the mountains here, zooming on in around Boone, Morganton. It's been coming down, raining like cats and dogs, really all throughout the morning. We've seen some reports of five, six, seven inches of rain once you get up into these higher elevations and these mountain counties. Now, as we get farther to the south and east across the Piedmont, there's the shower that rolled through Charlotte really in about the past five minutes or so. But I want to turn our attention to what's to our south and west. It's this line of heavy rain, maybe a rumble of thunder mixed in as well, that really is going to have conditions deteriorate, deteriorate very quickly for about a 15 to 20 minute period. As it rolls on through, you're going to want to slow down big time. If you're going to be out on the roads, let's say in Shelby at 103, Gastonia at 147, Hickory just before 2 o'clock. Between about 215 and 230 here in Charlotte, there is going to be some down pouring rain moving on through. Just want to give yourself some extra time and then it will clear out and then we'll just see some more showers the rest of the day. Zooming on out here on a macro level, what's going on? So we got a cold front to our west and that's really just helping to amplify all of this moisture. We got something that's called upper level divergence going on in the atmosphere and that's why you have these massive rain shield well out in front of the remnant low of what is Nicole. Now, We've been relatively fortunate here across our viewing area with the lack of severe weather, but you can see those little red polygons indicating radar indicated tornado warnings once you get across northeast North Carolina and then southeastern portions of Virginia. And that's what we're going to be watching sort of in this dry section right here for more potential severe weather as we head through the afternoon. The good news for us, though, that's basically wrapped up any severe weather potential here. Future cast shows the rainfall as we head throughout the rest of the day. By about 7, 8 o'clock, we start to dry out, really dry out during the overnight hours as we head through your Saturday. A lot of cloud cover here in Charlotte, not expecting too much, though. During the afternoon up in the mountains, I wouldn't be shocked to see a couple of showers out there as the cold front moves on through. And then, boys, they're going to be getting much colder. Some mountain showers tomorrow, not expecting anything here really in Charlotte. And then check out how much colder it gets for your Sunday. And that's just going to continue right through next week dramatically colder weather on the way. This evening we dry out by about 9 o'clock. We're seeing greatly improved weather, low temperatures, still going to be mild tonight. And then again tomorrow expecting a mild day for the Carolinas. Still mid 70s across the Sand Hills, low 70s in the Piedmont. Once we head up into the foothills, still around the 70 degree mark. This is well above average for this time of year. But you notice the 50s in places like Beach Mountain. That is signaling what's to come. Five day forecast watching more showers with another reinforcing front on Tuesday. And yeah, it's really going to start to feel like November next week, Annie.